winter is approaching fast and I realized last year during my first season of ski flying the other one to look at is uh is white pass that I've got some major drafts inside and I've got uh some gaps in my door that I can actually see the light coming through and um, I can feel it on my neck and uh, it's, it's cold and so I went and got some of this uh, aviation door seal uh, through aircraft spruce it's too thick and uh, hard for the door to shut at all I tried it on the back and uh, what I ended up using on the back was some of this uh, the weather stripping here um, and it's still really tight when it shuts and I didn't want to have my pilot door or passenger door you know stick or be hard to open uh, in case of an emergency and I thought well what else could I use and I came up with the idea for some of that spray sealant that expanding foam and I got the uh, the, the type that is only expanding like an, an inch or whatever so uh, I but I couldn't find anything on uh, YouTube I googled it nobody has tried anything or at least posted anything uh, regarding this this spray on foam and I thought well maybe that's because it's not a good idea and so I tried it on my passenger door seemed to work great and so I was gonna go through and do it on my uh, pilot door I didn't want I didn't want to do both doors and end up sealing the the cabin shut so uh, which is uh, an issue so uh, you'll see what I did to mitigate that and so let's go check that out there was already some of that adhesive foam uh, on the door frame and so I'm just cleaning it off with a, a scraper and I'm taking some acetone this is some of that uh, professional strength acetone making sure I'm wearing gloves and I just prepare the the frame of the door making sure I get off all that uh, uh, original foam strip and any other debris or making just making sure it's clean so the foam will stick to that side now I'm taking some Vaseline and I put it on the, the rag there and I'm just liberally putting it on everywhere I think that I don't want the foam to stick so uh, the opposite side of the, the window frame there I'm just slathering it on. I'm putting it on the top there, and in hindsight, there's a, uh, a gap between um, the door frame there, and I should have put a lot more in that gap. Uh, there was a little bit of foam that ended up getting you know, kind of inserted into that, so I had to scrape some of that out a little bit um, at the end. But all in all, I think the Vaseline worked really well. And I'm putting it on the, the door itself, or the frame of the door, anywhere I don't want the foam to stick. Because uh, I know it's going to um, you know, expand out onto the door. And so anywhere I don't want that foam, I put some more um, Vaseline. And you know the can of the uh, foam spray says to do a couple test strips or get some practice down on you know the, the trigger pressure. So that's what I'm doing here. So I'm going ahead and uh, and I'm just inserting that tube and I maintain the pressure. And then I think you have to have the can it down and so I changed the direction there and I'm just inserting that foam uh, evenly and doing all three sides there and I only did half the door the upper half I think the uh, the lower half it is sealed fairly well with the the stripping that's on there um, it's just this top part and I think if I had done the, the whole door it would have stuck a little bit more, but uh, it seemed to work out well. And I'm just getting this uh, last side here. And again, just even pressure, filling in the whole crack, 
with uh, the same amount. And you can see, you know, where I had to insert some extra into some cracks and it just expanded a little bit more. This is the next day, or, you know, I let it cure and dry and all that. And I am pulling it away from the door frame, you know, where I had put on that Vaseline. And I'm just separating it from, uh, from the door frame so when I open the door, it will open freely, which it does. It just opens right up. Yeah, it just opened right up. And then I just take a razor blade and I trim all the excess off. And so I go around the outside and uh, just, just cutting off all the excess foam that was, you know, had squirted out the, the, the top, you know, where those cracks were, making sure that, that all that is cut off. And then I'm going down the, each of the frame sides and uh, making sure that, you know, it's all even. To cut this foam off was actually, you know, pretty satisfying, I, you know, to see that you know, it didn't screw anything up, and, you know, if I do eventually want to remove this, all I have to do is scrape it off. It's not permanent, um, but I think it will make a really good seal so the wind won't blow in. And the final side here, just trimming this off. Once all the foam is trimmed off, I think it cleaned up really well. And this is where that uh, that that uh, gap was where I didn't have any Vaseline, so I had to go back in and and scrape some of that out. But it wasn't too bad. And so I'm going back with the razor blade and just trimming off some of the excess. But again, it, it cleaned up really well. And you know where I put that Vaseline on the inside, it seemed to work really well to keep that uh, separated. And the door opens and shuts perfectly, and it's sealed. And here, when I uh, point the camera up where that gap was, all you can see is that foam seal. And it worked great and so I don't know if this is you know why I haven't seen this on you know any YouTube videos or anything but I, I think it turned out really well